Hello and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. In this episode, we are going to continue working on the waterfall uh, journal. Um, I'm just picking up on the page where I ended yesterday with the music envelopes. And then look at this, Last Rose of Summer. I thought that was really appropriate. And this was some paint I had done on my brayer when I was making something for a another project I was collecting for. But I thought the colors pulled nicely. So we'll see. I think that'll be a big journaling tag in this um, for this page. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I thought, gosh, I haven't just chatted in a video for a while. So I thought, well, I'll just work on this page a little bit, chat a little bit, and then see where we end up. Um, so you guys know I went to that retreat um, at the first weekend of April, and then hubby and I had planned an RV trip around that. And you guys know, like, we had planned to go to Arizona, and then we couldn't go to Arizona, <laughs> and then we, um, decided, we, okay, we'll go down to eastern Tennessee and work our way across eastern Tennessee, and then we decided not to do that, that we would just, um, we would just go to basically straight down in the area I needed to be close to Tennessee and play around there. Anyway, it ended up being a really great time. So on the way down, we hit a couple places, like stopped at this really cool ice cream place at a dairy farm, it was really good. Did a little bit of exploring on the way down. Not as much as we had really intended. And then, um, but when we left, um, oh, we went to land between the lakes and that was really pretty, but like a big tornado had come through, I believe it was in December and hubby had never seen the devastation of a tornado. So for him, that was like really fascinating. And I was like, yeah, see why I always say I will not live in tornado country again because I'm from Indiana and I've lived in Louisiana and I mean, you know, that's, that's just a lot. So anyway, um, so anyway, he got to see it firsthand, and he was just kind of like in awe of the damage a tornado can do. That was interesting. And anyway, so we did a drive through Buffalo and Elk part. It was like a preserve. And so that was kind of nice. And the money to do the drive through obviously went to help, um, help maintain the preserve. So that was really fun for us. Not something that we would normally have done, but we really enjoyed it. And then, um, then what did we do? We, so then we went to the RV park in uh, Clarksville for the retreat. And basically he dropped me off at the hotel and he spent the weekend just kind of doing maintenance on the RV and the truck. Stuff that he just hasn't had time to do. So he did that. And then once he picked me up, we went to, um, Horse Cave, Kentucky, and we did, um, on a whim, one day, we did Hidden River Cave, and we did um, Onyx Cave, that was the other one, and it was really, really cool, like, we were super glad that we did it, and then, um, the next day, we did Mammoth Cave, the historic tour, so that was really interesting, and then, um, just made our way home, we were supposed to do the Ark, but it was supposed to snow up here, so we decided just to go ahead and come home versus uh, versus risking it and being in any kind of snow with the RV. So that was kind of our trip. It was two weeks, you know, kind of round trip. And it was just nice to, to get out and do something. So we were really grateful to have had that opportunity. Um, anyway, so that, that was kind of the update with that. It was just a lot of fun. I'm kind of fussing with this. I'm like, this is a lot of music paper for one page. But with all this text back here, I'm not sure what I want to do. So I'm going to think about that. I'll be back. I'm trying to think my way through this. And hubby came up. So I stopped filming. He's like, why do you stop filming when I come up? You can film. I'm like, because I don't ever know what's going to come out of your mouth. <laughs> and he was like, oh, okay. Anyway. I'm just thinking about maybe trying to break that up a little bit. But I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so that tells me, because I don't know, I'm just going to clip this in here. 
and go to a different page. You guys know I'm struggling with this journal and just the style, and I do like it. I just have to figure out like how I want to embellish it so it flows nicely. So I'm just going to go back here to the start. I need to put brown thread in my sewing machine because what I think I'm going to do is stitch around some of these pieces, just stitch them, and then, you know, even just to add that dimension or texture, I think it would be really pretty. And even if I just stitched around this page, it might be pretty with the brown, just to give it some accent. So that's a possibility. I know I'm gonna glue this down because I like this here. But anyway, so yeah, we really had a nice time. Um, like I said, I had met some amazing people at the retreat and really hope to foster a couple of those relationships, and I think I will. Um, the one gal is, um, she and her husband actually have the same brand of RV that we do, which was interesting. So then it was nice because you can talk about things and know what the other person is talking about. So that was kind of cool. And then, um, so I think we are going to try to get together in the fall, kind of at a halfway point between them and us. So that would be nice. That would be a lot of fun. And so we have the RVing in common and we have, um, journal making and quilting in common, even though she's like far superior in her quilting skills than I am, but that's okay. Um, the idea is just to get together and have some fun. I had said maybe she could help me <laughs> hone my skills a little or get a little better at, at what I do. So it might be a good learning experience. So that, that sounds like fun. We're looking forward to that. Um, and then I think that's kind of just about it as far as that goes. I mean, like I said, we had kind of the, the party that was the swap for the folio. Um, and that was a lot of fun. The host of the the swap made these beautiful ephemera folios that are full of like vintage and just super cool um, ephemera, which I really like a lot. And so that'll be give me some fun stuff to work with. Um, so that was exciting. And then what else? I kind of like that, but I. And I even think if it hangs off a little, that would be okay. And then I'll put some cheesecloth behind that. Let's do that. I don't have any green cheesecloth dyed. That would be really pretty. Of course, I could remedy that. I have some scraps here. I could just spray or do my uh, forest moss. I think that would be really pretty behind that. So maybe I'll do that. because this is too stark. Oops, and I don't want, oh look, there's a smaller square. <clears throat> I don't think I want it cream behind there because I think it'll get lost. Okay, all right, so anyway, yeah. I'm gonna get this cheesecloth dyed and dried and then I'll be back. You know, I have some new subscribers, so I thought, I, I know I've done this before, but maybe you're new and you don't know how to do this. So I just take my oxide or your ink and I squish it on a mat. This is just a Dollar Tree cutting mat. I think they come two in a pack. And so I just squish a little bit on my mat there and I take my water. And then what I'll do is try not to get my little pink ribbons all icky there. Just mop it up and then squeeze it. And then yes, your fingers will get a little green, but that's fine, I don't mind it. And actually it's really nice out. So once this dries, I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna take some sprays and inks outside and play on some paper and get some papers uh, dyed. So I'll dry that with my heat tool. Now something that you can do, like if you've got trims cheesecloth, uh, laces, whatever, you can dye them in this fashion. But do you know that a polyester or nylon lace will melt with the heat tool? So you have to be very, very careful not to melt or get it too hot or get it too close so that way you don't melt. Now I have a piece of corrugated cardboard and I'm just gonna lay this on here. 
I have this one, but it has some other colors. And actually that brown, I don't care if the brown transfers. Um, but I did have brown transfer on something I didn't want it to transfer. And then I was like, well, I've got to go with it because it transferred. So do be mindful. You know, the oxides and the inks, they reactivate with water. if They're water-based. So um, anything that's water-based is going to reactivate when you get it wet. So be mindful of that in your processes. So that way you don't spend all this time working on a piece. And then you stick it on this and it's wet. And it reactivates and then you're like oh now what I'm gonna do with it doesn't mean it's ruined it just means you have to rethink your plan and figure out how you're gonna fix it so I'm gonna get this dry the heat tool is really loud so I will not um, do that on film but let me get this dry I'll be right back we'll finish with this piece and then um, I'm gonna go outside another tip when you're drying is obviously if you're using a heat tool or hairdryer or whatever that's moving air, it wants to move. So I have these tweezers that I don't even know where I got them, but anyway, I just hold it down. That way you're not sticking your finger and trying to hold it and then you burn yourself. Uh, it doesn't feel good, ask me how I know that. And then you'll notice it did lighten up a little bit, but I don't mind that. Um, it doesn't bother me that it lightened up a little bit. I think it's still gonna give me great dimension or great texture on my piece and add a little pop of color and I really like it. Now I'm, I'm thinking maybe I'll do a little bit of, I know I've got some vintage book page somewhere on my desk, which is, you know, it's usual gonna avalanche state. But look at that, just a little piece there that we can just add a little bit of text there. I know it's upside down. That does not bother me. If it bothers you, do it right side up. I am trying to get better at embracing upside down stuff and that's even been cut so where is my this is just an old phone book that I'm using for a glue book oh I tore it that's okay that's okay I'll just piece it together so I'm not really trying to stress about this project too much it really is for fun it is a project like I've said I said in the previous video it's not really a style that I um completely love oops I did that too far that way it's not a style that I completely love but I think it'll be okay when it's done uh, it, I mean I'll embellish it and decorate it and it's coming together I like it more the more I'm working on it um, but it's something new and that's something that I've really been trying to find is something new new to me I mean there are videos on YouTube obviously with the waterfall uh journals so you know you can look and see what's out there for styles like there's a one gal I, I watched one and it was like a really shabby um a shabby style and it was really cute um and this is kind of going to take on a little bit of a shabby but not be as pink I think I'm trying to stick more with neutrals on this um doesn't mean I won't add some glitter because you know, who doesn't want glitter on their flowers, right? All right, so I'll get this glued down and I think that's gonna be fine. And then we need like a label or something, which, 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 let's see what we've got. You know, this is just my repurposed paperback book that I've turned into a holder was falling apart from beach reeds, so I turned it into an ephemera holder. Ooh, I have these little labels that I made. I stamped. Maybe one of these would work. Nope. Don't like it. Don't like it. Okay. And we can come back to it also. I just thought maybe we needed just a little bit of something more there. Oh, I have these labels. There's another page of these somewhere that are thinner. That one's too big. So, not meaning to fuss. Here, I like this one. 
So anyway, yeah, the weather's been really nice here. It was funny. I was outside earlier and these squirrels are going crazy in the tree and I could only see one at first. And last year we didn't have that many squirrels, but a neighbor took down an entire row of trees. So we think that it kind of um, misplaced a few of them. And with the stamp on that, I don't know if I like it after all. Oh, here, we'll just do this. Anyway, and so it's nice to hear them out today and that they're they're chattering and yelling at one another, but it cracks me up. I finally found them, and um, the one, one was in one tree and the other was in the tree next to him, and they were really about the same height and level, and they were just going crazy, and so Hubby and I were like, one of you can come over here in our tree. We'd like to see some babies this summer. That would be nice. Um... So we'll see. Hopefully we'll have some return to the feeders and preferably not all the chipmunks, even though they're cute, but they just rob all my food. Um, but anyway, it would be nice to have the squirrels. We do enjoy them. All right. So I kind of like that. It just gives it a little bit more, more texture, more dimension, more something. So anyway, they were just really fun. I stood out there. I was like eating my sandwich, standing up. And he says, what are you doing? I'm like, just watching the squirrels. He jumped out of the tree onto the barn roof, the neighbor's barn. And um, so we jumped out of the tree onto the roof, slid halfway down the roof. I thought for sure he was going to slide off, but he caught himself before. And he's hanging on the edge. And then he runs up and under the eaves and found a hole in her roof so he was up under there it was just really funny they're such funny little creatures to watch them and uh anyway we just find a lot of joy in them and i think i have to check um i think we have a robin building a nest again this year under a little carport where we keep the lawn tractor and last year, it was really, she built a nest on top of my husband's extension ladder. So we really couldn't disturb, use the extension ladder for a while because we would have disturbed her. And we didn't want to disturb her with, and have her abandon the babies. But, so I have to make sure that's not where it is this year. And if she's already built it, we'll leave it. Um, but I do think she's building because of the way she was acting over there. So that would be... A lot of fun. I'm really hoping that we'll have babies again this year because it was just fun watching the progress. And like I had um, Googled, um, like how long a pink stamp on that might be cute, but I don't want it to be too big. Oh, but I know what I can do. If I can find it. Um, hang on. Sorry about that. I knew that I had this stamp somewhere in my scrap pile to work on some stuff. And I decided, I think I do want to see if I have a small green stamp, even if we have to cut it down a little bit. And this is just another paperback that I've repurposed um, to make a stamp holder out of. You know, I have my ephemera folios that I had used my Tim Holtz paper on. And I thought, you know, I love those, but this is something that was falling apart and it's a way to give it new life. So here we are new life i'm just looking for i was trying to determine if i wanted a pink but all the pinks in here seem to be pretty bright um or a brown could work too actually let's do that let's do So anyway, yeah, the um, I can cut that down a little bit. Where's that one I just had? There it is. Um, so anyway, I had Googled the robins and trying to figure out how long before the eggs hatch and stuff like that because I, I didn't know. I mean, I've had robins before but never been that um, into trying to watch the babies hatch. Sorry, I'm in my drawer, and you guys know it shakes you when I get in my drawer. I apologize. So anyway, I looked it up, and it was just in time, and it was fortunate that we knew she was building the nest, and we had been watching it. So we knew, um, okay, they should be hatching soon. And then, like in the time frame that they did hatch, 
she must not have laid the eggs all on the same day because the eggs didn't all hatch the same day. They hatched over like two days and at different periods throughout the day. So we thought that was pretty interesting. So anyway, I know that's a little bit big, but I like him. So anyway, um, so we had the joy of watching the babies before we took off on our summer trip last year. So I'm hoping, I mean, we don't really have a major trip planned this year. Um, the people that we actually bought the RV from text me the other day and they are coming back from a trip they've been on. So we're going to try to do a weekend together just locally so we can visit, which would be really nice. And, um, but anyway, that would just be like over a weekend or a couple days, nothing major. So that could be fun. But I'm hoping to be able to see some babies this year. Black. We want black. All right. And let's just do one of these. I don't really want the hot air balloon one. So I just want to do a little bit of that. There. Okay. So now we have a canceled stamp. And that stamp is too big. I realize that. I could have made a faux stamp. But I have lots of stamps. So... If you're in need of stamps or you cannot find stamps, let me know and we can work something out because I have a bunch. I was actually going to list some in my Etsy. I just haven't done it yet. And I do want to make that a little bit glittery. So let's ink this a little bit. I think this is going to be a fun little tuck because then we'll put a tag up under here. And then that little bit of cheesecloth will hang over the side, and that actually works really well with that page, so hopefully you can see that. Okay, so I'm actually, I'm gonna glue it. That way I can't change my mind. And then go from there. So my friend sent me this really sweet bee charm. I just absolutely love it, but I think I'm gonna break the pen because <laughs> you guys know I'm really hard on these pens, and I told her, I said, I think I'm gonna break it. So, I'm going to end up probably replacing the pen. So, she's having the same issue with hers. And I don't know how many pens have I broken, guys. I mean, I know I've broken at least three pens for my art glitter glue. And I don't know why. I just think that because the tip, that fine tip, is so fine that it's hard to get them in there. Especially if glue gets built up in it, I think is part of the problem. Because it just fits. And then... You know, it wants to wiggle, and then it bends, and it weakens, so I should stop talking. Make sure my glue is not seeping. Okay. Yay. So that's that page, and since I do want to add some glitter to that, oh, that's crooked. Ah, uh, well, it's crooked. Oh, well, I can't move it now. That's one of the things about art glitter glue. You better be paying attention, or it's going to be stuck. So... Just have this little bit of glitterific acrylic glue. And all I'm going to do is just get a little bit on my finger and just go over my flower. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it to have just a little bit of sparkle. Okay. And then that will dry. And that's kind of thick at the top there, so I need to be using these so they don't dry out. Because they're a lot of fun. I just got them at Walmart. All right, so see, we have just a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of glue. And so I'll let that dry and call it good for right now. I'm going to go outside and play. I'll see how long this video is. Let me check that. So we're at 24 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and call this video good and get this uploaded. Because it's more of a chat and not really a how to do anything. Well, I don't know. I talked about the cheesecloth dyeing, so maybe somebody will learn from that. And then we'll need to make a little tag for here. And yeah, I just touched that and it's wet, so I'll have to fix it. But anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, I'll be back in the next video. We're gonna continue to work on this. I'll probably do some of the embellishments off screen. Um, we'll see, I don't know. It's growing on me as I'm working on it, so that's a good thing, that's a positive thing. So hopefully it'll really grow on me and I'll end up loving it. So, see you in the next video.
Bye.